2021 Specialized Epic Evo. Retails $3,800, weighs in at 28 pounds, one ounce. This is a size large. In kilos, it is 12.72 kilos. Stay tuned to after the video, we hear a free body sound test on this wheel right here. Thank you guys again so much, and I'll see you guys later. Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here, back with another video. Today I have for you guys the brand new 2021 Specialized Epic Evo. Uh, this is actually a newer model that they released midway through the year. Uh, this one is actually $3,800 and it's a full carbon frame. The Evo platform is new to this year. Uh, they redesigned it completely. They got rid of the brain on the Epic, made it more playful, a little more slacker. Um, so we'll get into all the details of what this bike has, go over the components, and kind of tell you why I think this is one of the better bangs for the buck. So the bike was a, a 2021. It's their entry level for the Epic Evo. This is the, the cheapest price point you can get at Epic Evo for, $3,800. This is a size large right here. Uh, weighing at 28 pounds, uh, one ounce. That's including this little dork disc on the back here too. But yeah, they make it in three different colors as well. They make it in like, I think like a marine green and also a raspberry. Definitely this dove gray is the coolest of the three. It's a beautiful looking gray. It's kind of like that Nardo gray, looks really good. Um, but yeah, so for the Evo platform for this year, they completely got rid of the brain in the rear. So it took away, it is still considered epic even though it doesn't have a brain, but they got rid of that proprietary epic brain on the back. Uh, they made the rear shock have 110 millimeter travel. They added a flip chip to the bike as well. And then the front fork has 120 millimeters travel, which was similar to what it had for all the previous years. But they want to really take away that brain. They want to have a fun cross country bike. They can still do lap times off uh, with, still be competitive with, uh, with times with your friends, still kind of hit single track kind of uh, XC courses. But if you did want to hit some jumps, hit some of the bigger stuff, hit, hit some drops, you can do that because you have a, a more slacker head tube, uh, bigger travel and no brain to worry about to have the service. So, and that's the sun hitting right there. That gray looks sick. It's definitely a darker gray there. Specialized logo is in a lighter gray. But yeah, so let's go ahead without further ado. Let's get into the, uh, the full bike. So starting off with the handlebar, it's a specialized alloy handlebar, 31.8 clamp. Uh, then you have a specialized aluminum stem right here as well. This is a uh, 60 millimeter stem that comes included with. The bars are a 760 millimeter bar. Nothing crazy by Specialized. You got the little logo right there. Uh, the brakes are going to be the Shimano, I believe the MT600s. Just a regular two piston brake. They use a mineral oil. Shimano are great brakes. They, once you press them in, they hit a wall. There's really no actuation. They work phenomenally. So very good brakes. Uh, you have on here the Specialized lock-on grips. Little three millimeter bolt right there to lock them on. Have that little bit of an abrasion there to give you some more grip. The bike is outfitted with Shimano SLX, uh, a full Grupo. You have a 12 speed shifter here. The new SLX that they redesigned on here is absolutely buttery smooth. It's a great shifting component. I'm a big fan of it. They redesigned it, made it look really good. Big fan of it. Going over to the other side, we have on here the dropper seat post. So you have the little control over here for the dropper seat post right here. And I think this is like a trans X seat post. It's new to the line. It's a 34.9 seat post clamp and this is a 150 millimeter uh, dropper seat post on here so you go ahead and hit this button right here press it seat post goes down and you press again seat, seat post goes back up so definitely a, uh, a must when you're talking about a bike with a little bit more travel that you want to hit some jumps with you can get that seat post out of the way you're able to go down uh, bigger drops you're able to do jumps you can do a lot of stuff like that fork on here is going to be a rock shock reba it's 120 millimeter travel so 120 millimeters travel here. You have a lockout switch right here. So right now this is fully open. We go all the way to here, it's fully locked out. And then in between you have intermediate clicks as well to maybe make it a little bit firmer or softer depending on what kind of terrain you're riding on. You have your little fun honor, funometer right here. What this means is that you put it all the way down the beginning of the ride. Where this lands whenever you hit suspension or a compression, uh, you want it to be somewhere almost at the top and that's showing you that your suspension set correctly and that you're using the most amount of travel for it. You want to use that all the time. This is a boost setup, so it's a 15 by 110 travel. I'm sorry, 15 by 110 for the fork width. It is a through axle right here. The wheels on here are going to be a, I believe just a axis wheel or a revolve wheel. Maybe it's stout actually. Yeah, there's stout wheel, aluminum rim with a Shimano front hub. It is center lock, thank God. Uh, tires in the front are going to be a ground control 29 by 2.3 tire. These tires are tubeless ready. 
the wheels are tubeless ready and the bike does come with the valves so you can make it tubeless if you want to all you have to do is get the fluid install it put the valves in there and then you have tubeless ready rims going to the side over here we have a shimano uh two piston brake right there that's your caliper you have your rebound adjustment i think on the other side as well yes you can see right there see the little rabbit over there rabbits are fast turtles for slow you can adjust the rebound however you want um going on down to the frame or the shock right here we have on here the rock shock deluxe select plus shock one of the cheapest or cheaper shocks that they have on the line for rock shock but it's definitely better than i think in my opinion of their x fusion that they have on here so you're getting a rock shock brand name shock on here it's 110 millimeters travel um which is great you get a little bit more playfulness out of the bike and then also right here you can see they brought this over from the stump tripper platform this is called their flip chip they have a low and high setting uh when it's in the low setting uh it's going to be I think when you flip it from the low to the high, you can move the bottom bracket up about a, it's been a while since I've done this, bring it up six millimeters, I want to say, or maybe it's a half a degree. And then when you do that, it also brings the rake in more by half a degree, I believe, to, get, to make it more a little bit more aggressive. So once in the high setting, it's going to become a little bit more of an aggressive bike, more epic-y, more uh, faster riding, more lap time. When it's in the low setting, you're going to be a little bit more raked out, a little bit more lower, and it's going to be a longer travel bike for a little bit more playfulness. So keep that in mind. Uh, you do have your lockout switches right here. So you have this control right here. You have it all the way to the end. You have your rebound settings right here. And on the other side, that's your nozzle you put in the air right there as well. Um, you have your water bottle bolts right here. If you wanted to put on different cages for uh, different size water bottles, you can also add SWAT tools to it. You have water bottle mounts right here. This is Fact 11M Carbon. I believe you get Fact 11M Carbon all the way through the Epic line, I want to say, so that's a benefit. Bottom bracket on the new Epics are going to be a threaded bottom bracket with a Shimano uh, a threaded bottom bracket. This bike has a, sh a Shimano bottom bracket on here. This is a Shimano crank, 175 crank arms on here. And then this is a 32 tooth chain ring for 12 speed. Chain is going to be a Shimano Dior chain. And then in the back right here, you have the Shimano SLX cassette. 10 tooth in the back, 51 tooth in the top. So you're getting 12 speed total with your gearing on there. Uh, rear derailleur is going to be a Shimano SLX rear derailleur. And then you have your little Shadow Plus lockout right here. So when it's down like this, uh, it's a lot looser of tension. So if you're road riding, you want a little bit of a smoother shift or maybe you're on some dirt roads, you have this option right here. If you want a more tension shift, you don't want your derailleur to be slapping around as much. This puts more tension on this derailleur cage. It makes it harder. To, uh, to bounce around so you have more tension, but it will make the shifts more crisper and a little bit more of a wall to push through. So keep that in mind. Rear tire is going to be a fast track 29 by 2.3, tubeless ready as well with a tubeless ready rim and they come with the valves as well. The coolest thing about these Epics and these new Stumpies that Specialized is doing is that it's great for the consumer if they ever want to install new brakes or new um, rear derailleur cables on here. If you want, you can rip out this whole hose housing without putting any guides through here because there's already guides implemented on there. And literally you just shove this out and then you shove the new one back in and it'll pop out right up here. So benefit to consumer right there, making things easy by Specialized. They're innovating some nice stuff. Um, back here we have a center lock rotor by Shimano, 160 in the rear, 180 in the front. Shimano uh, M600 rear caliper brake back there as well. And then you have a top it off a specialized power saddle, specialized sport power saddle 143. Got him out of breath. Been, I've been making videos all day, talking on. Hurts my throat. Um, great saddle, very comfortable, a lot of cushion on here. But the, the power saddles are definitely coming on strong in the mountain bike game. They used to be dominated by the Phenom or whatever. But that's gonna do it for this video on the Epic Evo. This bike, for sure, for 3,800 bucks. If you're unsure of what you wanna do, let's say you wanna get into the mountain bike game, your buddies are riding, it's, the pandemic's going on, you wanna start riding some trail or single track with some buddies. You, you're not sure if you wanna do more lap times, you're not sure if you wanna do more jumps, maybe some sketchy stuff. This bike can do it all. It has a wheelbase length of almost a stump jumper. It's very long, so it's almost raked out like a stumpy. Um, the, 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 the rake of this fork is much more slacker than the original Epic, but still uh, small enough travel where you can still compete with your buddies. It's a 29 inch wheel. Um, 
it, it can do everything. This is the perfect bike. This bike is perfect for Florida for me because I used to ride the stump jumper, but it was always a little bit too much bike for me to push around in Florida, even though I did it. This bike is a bike that I would recommend for sure. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. So just to wrap it up, this is the Epic Evo $3,800 model. This is the base model they offer for the Epic Evo. Size large, weighting at 29 pounds, 28 pounds, I believe. I completely forgot. Stay tuned to after the video. We're here for your body sound test on the wheel. Thank you guys. Bye. 2021 Epic Evo with the Shimano SLX drivetrain and the micro spline on the wheel. It's a Shimano free body. I'm going to free a body sound test right now. Alright guys, thank you so much.